It's a crime against humanity. Oh yeah. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the gentleman's den with three of your favorite whiskey drinking beer guzzling jerks. You know mm. I like to my left, Frankie. To my right, Jeff. I am Sean. How's everybody doing this week? How we doing, boys? Feeling good. I got a bottle of whiskey in my hand. <laughs> good little taste test going on here. What yeah. do we got over there, Sean? Uh, we uh, have proper 12 Conor McGregor's Conor whiskey. McGregor. We have good old Sir Jameson. Yeah, yeah. Just for the record, I hate whiskey. <laughs> I can't set the and bottle on. It's glued. We have Pour it, bro. my personal Drink favorite, the bottle. which is Patty's. Which is an Irish whiskey. It is and smooth. It's super smooth. It's it's butterscotch like smooth. So, raise up your glass. Raise a shot. Frankie doesn't have one yet. He's drinking out of the bottle like a fucking savage. Oh, savage. Jesus Stay hydrated. All right. Salute. Salute. Oh, Patty. So I good. P a d d y s, and of course. Oh, fuck. A 6.5% PBR. I don't know what that means. It's black. He's a Sauvage. It's not the normal red, white, and blue. It means there's more alcohol in it. Jesus Christ. Bet it's got nothing on a hard Dixon cider. Oh, nothing. Well, hard Dixon cider is what, 40% alcohol? It's 40%. Especially when you get the huge Dixon cider. Yeah. That 40 ounce. It's 240. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not going to lie to you. That's straight gasoline. <laughs> it is. Uh, that's fine. Speaking no. of gasoline, what the hell did you do in my bathroom, Frankie? Jesus. We need gasoline to burn that bitch down. I don't know. Tomorrow's- I don't know. You went in my bathroom for about a good half hour, and I made the mistake of bringing my drink into the bathroom to take a piss, and it- all the ice melted <laughs> instantly. How's, how's your drink taste? Like shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, every Friday we have the uh, one of the technicians goes to this little fucking corner shop that looks like it's shut down, but they make the best tamales. <laughs> and he ended up grabbing like it was something crazy. It was like nine dozen this week. Nine dozen. Yeah, he was like an, almost an hour. I late. feel bad for that Mexican lady that's making all them tamales. Bro, she even she he said she was pissed. She's like, "You take all my tamales." I'm like, "What does she give a fuck? She sold them." Yeah. Right. Yeah, so but, yeah, I mean she has an early day, <laughs> right? Go home. No, it means she's got to do that shit all over again for the rest of the fucking savages out there that want tamales. So many people go there, and they doesn't get them, she have a it's quota? Like Thirteen dollars a a dozen, so it's yeah, like a well, dollar a tamale. So nine dozen. Yeah, I got three dozen. <laughs> How big are that? I, I, what do you do with them? My department and stuff too. Oh, uh, um, but yeah, I but ended he up. He doesn't bring any to the gentleman's then. What I did. A I did forget him. I wouldn't want him. See, Keep those tamales away from me. No, you need to try them. They're good. They are the green ones, so they're like a little spicier, but it's not hot. It's spicy. It, they're delicious with the real corn fucking. I cannot type. eat spicy oh. shit. Yeah, Jeff's soft on the spice. Oh, I, can, I can't do it. If the nacho cheese for your fries has a little too much spice in it, he's like, I don't like it. Yeah, that's, that's the itis. Is it because I run hot? I don't know. I, you are I, always on fire. You're sitting I, too close I, to me. I think it's because you're German. And you're, you're, you're more of a salt over spice. <clears throat> Salt's going to kill huh? you. Like, if in a lot of German food, it's more salt over spice. Is that why it's from my roots? Nine. From your roots. It's in your DNA. Some people don't like spice, man. I hate fucking, fucking love spice. it. It's, my it's, acid reflex doesn't. Like, you don't like That's hot what Travis is right? for. Like what? Did you I'm just asked if I don't like. No, not see. You. I like. To, I like to. En- I like to enjoy food. I like to taste the food. I like to have a good food experience. Please. If it's hot and spicy, I'm just sweating. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> I'm like I'm not enjoying it, so I don't get spicy shit because I don't. I want to enjoy the crushed food. red peppers. Like I could have Cheetos. I'm gonna enjoy those Cheetos, you but then you give the me spicy hot? Cheetos, and I'm like, oh, you get fuck. the flaming hot with the yeah, nacho see, cheese you from know the what that is? No, oh, I, 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 under, I understand where he's coming from. 
I understand with that because with your flavor profile, when you have something super spicy, your tongue goes numb. You lose all your fucking flavor. Right, and then you're so like, that's "Fuck, why I gotta choke eat, the rest of this down." That's that's why you can eat fifty mm. fucking hot wings because you're at that point, your tongue just doesn't give a fuck. It but you know taste what? Yeah, like anything but fucking heat. Be you because everyone's different. Everyone's body, you know, every everyone in the world is different. Not two people are gonna like and taste the things the same way. Well, when you so, order uh, when you, you order like a it, steak, you know, I want to taste the steak like they're always like oh do you want like a one sauce that's or disres- you know i just want that's to, if you're living in a trailer park do you want ketchup fucking dare you <laughs> disrespect all the good flavor steak. of a steak like, like some ketchup, ketchup. <laughs> ruin some meat like that i'll have a single shot of whiskey but i want that's how you, that's how you judge a good steak how it tastes without like exactly just natural people people don't like people that. don't appreciate that bleeding right oh, so i want to stop i want to taste my food i'm always hungry like it's like I get a burger, I don't get like a bunch of shit on the burger. No, I just want cheese. a burger Meat, with cheese. cheese, maybe some maybe bacon. some bacon. But I want if you really want to know how good that burger is, you just want it plain. You don't want lettuce, tomato, onion cuz no. then I, it's you're I just agree. masking what the burger you're, tastes you're like. Ma- you're masking what the actual f- the flavor of the meat. Right, exactly. But sometimes it's always good to have a loaded burger with all the shit on it. Yeah, well, you know what? Sometimes I like my pizza just how it is. It tastes fine. Sometimes I like to put crushed red peppers on it. Crushed it's- red peppers? <laughs> that was a fun story. First time you found out. <laughs> oh. Dude, I always thought it was like I, I had no idea. Well, because you were kind of like in the same boat. You were scared of peppers. Same boat. Talk about it. That was the day we got off the boat. Well, yeah. that's, that's we- because... Frankie followed in your shadow very tightly when he was younger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, He's like, oh, spicy younger. shit. Anything Jeff Jeff did, don't like spicy shit. I don't, I don't like, like spicy, spicy shit. shit. Right. But I do now. But he I'm found trying, out. I, I broaden your horizons. I remember when you wouldn't eat omelets and you wouldn't eat fucking shrimp and shit like that. Well, well see, I'm, I'm in the boat where, like, hmm. if I taste something and it tastes like shit, I think everything tastes like it's that. It's always going to taste like it. No yeah, idea. no. Everyone makes it. You can make the same thing at so 10 I different places. So I had fish. I hate fucking fish. I was mm-hmm. like, this is fucking disgusting. I don't so like I fish. thought all seafood tasted, tasted like yeah. fish. Uh, yeah. So like, I finally had crab. fucking shrimp. I'm like, this is good. Yeah. Lops is good. Yeah, it's well, it's yeah, you got you still got the young it's funny, you got the young kids mentality when it comes to My name Jeff, flavors. I'm six. Yeah, like I said, I always say you guys got like a fucking six year old's fucking palate. Well he what's does the regular egg? Where you just crack it open and it's got the yeah. white with the yolk in the middle? Yeah. So the white is fucking disgusting. So I thought egg, all eggs tasted like that. Even when someone makes fucking French toast, the yolk if they don't at. fucking stir it enough, and I can taste <laughs> that white shit in my toast, send it back to the kitchen. Yeah. Well, now you eat omelets, you eat all that stuff. Hey. I've expanded the palate. Yeah, Je- Jeff's Jeff's tried things. Well, the, the first time was we got off the boat, and we were drinking all day. Everyone was hammered. We went into town and went to a pizza place, and we're all sitting down, and one of our buddies fucking is putting this on there, and uh, I'm like, what's that? It's, you know, not Parmesan cheese. I'm like, what? And he's like, oh, dude, this you got to try it, and he just starts putting it on my pizza, and he's like, it's really, really good, and I was kind of like, uh, but I was so fucked up and hungry, I tried it, and I was like, this is fucking good, and I'm like, what eating, is it, this? eating it, I eat like the whole piece. Yeah, what what is this? This is fucking delicious. He's like crushed red peppers. I'm like crushed red peppers because I instantly <laughs> thought it was gonna be like my mouth was on like fire. Super hot, and it kind of was. It's a little, it has a little heat to it, but I love it. A, a red, a crushed red pepper is like way less than a jalapeno. Well, I remember when I was at his house one time, and they make some crazy kind of foods and shit, and they had some Thai pepper that yeah, was do, stacked oh, up yeah. to a fucking yeah. You don't mountain. touch the Thai pepper. Well, he's like lick your pinky and put it in there, and then taste it. I did. I was my mouth was on fire. I ate literally like Dude. a half a loaf of bread and drank like the rest of the milk that he had in his house. Dude. And my mouth was still on fire. The Thai peppers, <sighs> the Thai Fuck peppers, that. are the most sneaky fucking pepper there is. Like you look at a jalapeno, you're like, oh, that's probably gonna be a little bit hot. You look at a habanero, <laughs> that motherfucker is red. You're like, yeah, that's gonna be real hot. hot. Thai peppers are small. They look like they almost look like candy. And then you fucking what if eat you took one a of handful those, of those? Your asshole would leave your body. It would actually pack up your intestines like and sock? just leave. <laughs> it would just be out. See, everyone's like you. You get the same thing every time. It's like I have. I barely ever 
go like out to eat. Yeah. So I don't want to like go out to eat and have your night. And then I order something and I'm like, man, that was fucking horrible. Yeah, I I get it. I understand it. Like when we go to Chili's and it's always. Yeah, I get a fucking steak. Queso dick. Queso Queso dick. dick. He likes that cheesy dick. (laughs) It's queso dick. Get him that cheesy dick. The fucking queso dick. (laughs) It's queso dick. What are you thinking about? And it's a. I'm fucked up. Queso dip. And it's a it's fucking. It's that proper 12. It's, a, it's the patties and uh, the fucking sirloin. You always get the sirloin. You don't I always the get the eye. sirloin. I like the classic nachos. Ooh. You know what? Mm. You turned me on to those. And those fuckers are sneaky. Guys. Dude, they're so good. They're I mean, it's basically guys. queso dip on your chips anyways, but then they cover it with like a cheese and a chili sauce or powder. Yeah. I remember oh. we used to go to fucking Chili's and Frankie would get the fucking skillet. Yep. Yeah. And then he would eat like. He would just pick out like the chicken. He wouldn't use like any of the basically peppers. about three quarters of the plate wasn't being used. It's all peppers and onions. I like and then there was like barely it. any cheese, and I was like, dude, we could have went to Taco Bell and you could have got this for like <laughs> no, four dollars. You just spent about thirty seven bucks on this no, fucking meal, no, I, and I, half the plates going like in the trio. garbage can. And it's got the shrimp. Yeah, you fuck off. You 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 just want the protein out of it. You don't want the shit with it, right? And I just make basically like meat burritos. I don't even really put. <laughs> it do, it's just that's what it is. It's the flavor, <laughs> flavored steak and flavored chicken in a fucking yeah meat taco burritos show. and queso dick. That's fine. <laughs> that's, <laughs> sounds like a bad buddy cop movie. <laughs> Which one would you be? I guess obviously you'd be queso. Dick. You'd be queso, queso dick and meat burrito. <laughs> and I'd be the sidekick, sour cream, <laughs> guac, and I'm always pissed yeah. off. Sour guac, sour guac, ranch. <laughs> oh, dude! If I see one more video online of someone chugging ranch, I'm gonna fucking cry. What? Chugging ranch. Peep, there's these g- videos of girls taking like the big restaurant style containers of ranch dressing and drinking it. I want to punch them in the face. Mm. I really do. I'm sorry. I kind of got Joey Diaz's view when it comes to ranch dressing. If you want the taste of nutsack in your mouth. <laughs> I was never a ranch guy till I met Milady, and now I put ranch on like. You put everything. that ass in your mouth. <laughs> like I you do. You put that man. ass in your mouth. Ew. Have you ever made pizza puffs? Dip them in the ranch. They're, they're delicious. Change your life. It's, Fuck off. It's, I'm there's, not doing there's, that. There's there's weird you. there's Gross. weird things that ranch dressing just brings out the flavor in. Like salad. No, it no. Gives, it brings out a ranch pizza flavoring. Puffs. Like like yeah. like sa- with a salad, I'm either a creamy garlic or a Italian guy. He likes Italian guys. You toss it first, right? <laughs> All fist. <laughs> Your creamy salad you toss? All fist. But no. I mean, it, who doesn't toss a creamy salad? Cornfest last week. <laughs> Cornfest <laughs> last week. <laughs> Cornfest last week. You uh, had so much fun. They had, uh, like, you grab the corn. God you <laughs> dip, dip it in fucking wrecking ball. You dip it in the butter, and then you go and get you know salt. What are you pepper. dipping in the butter? The corn. Oh, I thought you were talking about your balls. That too. <laughs> it makes them. It makes them smooth as eggs. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, is your hands on my balls? Got the softest hands in the world. They have. Uh, they had ranch dressing powder. I'm like, fuck. I've eaten four years. What? So, ranch dressing powder? Yeah, there's powder. And you put it on the corn? And I put it on the corn. How was it? Fuck it that. was actually really good. I bet the it was. The only thing I wanted to find I've never seen it. I've never seen fucking never powdered seen powder? ranch. I'll bring you some powder. Next, next week, I'll bring you the ranch powder. You're gonna you guys are going to snort it off the you bar? You can't talk about bringing powder. <laughs> we're, we're snorting a line. <laughs> we're snorting lines of ranch powder next week. The only oh, thing I man. like getting at the My county father fairs would be so proud. is nachos and cheese. And a couple of years back when I met Jeff and the kids over at the fair and they were talking about deep fried like Twinkies and Oreos Delicious. and Snickers. And I was instantly like deep fried and I was like turned off. I'm like, ew, I don't want. Then you any- had one. And I had one. Then I had another one <laughs> and another one. They're Fucking delicious. The deep fried Oreo is freaky. It's crazy how good deep it is. Deep fried Twinkie. This is yeah. what we do in Wisconsin. Oh we just fucking deep fry shit. Deep fry was in here. everything. Delicious as fuck. Like, oh, see that over there? You know, you know what's really been. I gotta, I gotta say this really quick. This has really been driving me crazy now, because it's been going on for more than it like half the summer. Me crazy. I've been <laughs> losing my shit. Every time I'm outside taking the dog for a walk or fucking even when I'm over at like people's house like I was over at Jess, 
I keep hearing these fucking ice cream trucks, and they never Up come here. to my streets, and I am about to lose <laughs> it. I'm going to fucking go and track this motherfucker down. I remember, Jeff, what was that? Grand Avenue? Yeah. We, we were going down Grand Avenue. We flagged them down. We see Jeff was, like, cutting them off. <laughs> pull over. <laughs> fucking pull over. We, like, bought, like, ten snow cones, like, ten screwballs, a bunch of fucking bomb pops. I was pissed yesterday. Uh, my uncle had, like, his end of summer party down in Chicago. Yeah. And uh, there was, like, a block party going on. Oh, this ice cream truck. He knew. He, oh, he knew. He's on his game. He oh, pulls he right up there. Money. I was hearing this ice cream truck for the past fucking half hour. <laughs> my daughter's like, ice cream, ice cream. It's like, what, this guy Eddie fucking Murphy. leave already? Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Mom, give me money. The ice cream man is coming. <laughs> so we go out there, and my daughter's like, I want that uh, Spider-Man. I was like, oh, yeah, the the gumballs are, or the eyeballs are gumballs. And then she opens it. There's no, no eyeballs. eyeballs. No gumballs. Son of a bitch. How disappointed was she? And then I like looked at the picture just to make sure. The picture had gumballs for eyeballs. False advertising, man. That's what the world's You know what, though? But that's not on the ice cream, man. That's on the company for making the ice cream. It's on the company. It's fucking false Well, maybe he should be buying it from the original Super Spider-Man makers. Maybe he (laughs) went to the bodega down the street. Hey, sometimes you got to buy the bootleg SpongeBob. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) 120% markup ain't enough. And it never looks like that picture. Ever. Because it it melted at one point, and then it Spider-Man was like all cross-eyed and shit. (laughs) (laughs) Like, you just got done at a fucking AA meeting for doing crack cocaine. He's just sweating. <laughs> he's sweating. He's dripping already right out of the package. Oh, that's... He's like, oh, fuck. I still... I, even though they're, they're the simplest things, the snow cones, I fucking love the snow cones. Yeah, we went to the... When we went to the drag strip, that was... A, we had... All we had was vodka. So we're like, what are we going to mix this with? Spy so snow we cone. So snow cones. Oh, that's they're fucking delicious. Genius. Snow cones and They're vodka. Delicious. You don't even need the ice. You just need and a cup and vodka. At one of our listeners' uh, wedding that I DJ'd, shout out to Bob and Sammy. Uh, woo woo. We uh, they had an ice cream truck show up, and I was doing Tito's. Not gonna lie, that's pretty fucking pimp. And I and I they had snow cones. And I did a fruit punch snow cone with Tito's, and it was fucking delicious. That's at my wedding. We're just gonna have a roach coach that pulls up outside. <laughs> Dude, I love it. <laughs> Tamales. <laughs> Oh, I, mean, I know a lady. I'll, I'll I'll eat a fucking sandwich off a of roach coach. All right, everyone's sitting down waiting for your dinner to come to your table. It's not going to happen. Why don't you grab your plate and come on inside? What the fuck was that? That would be the Mexican roach coach pulling up playing La Cucaracha. In my, in my head, it sounded like two owls having sex. <laughs> They're birds. They don't have sex, sir. Birds fuck. <laughs> yeah, birds don't fuck. What I remember I was do? with this Make one love? chick, and they, they went, lay an egg, and the male comes and fertilizes it. Yeah, well, we were at There's the no zoo, and we were watching birds fuck. Wow, you did pretty good in in school, did you? <laughs> <laughs> no birds fuck, dude. Birds fuck, bro, mammals fuck. Hold on, I got a video on my. So phone. wait a minute, Literally. hold on. Do birds don't fuck. They fertilize an egg. So she lays an egg. Lays an egg. And he comes and fucks the egg? No, he fertilizes the egg, so he fucking jizz drops, on his, it? drops his sauce on it. Jizz. How does, how does so he comes in the outside of the egg, and it seeps through? Yes. And that's how a chicken or bird's that's, made? Wow. Dude, let me ask you a question. Chickens have eggs, right? What was first? Ooh, chicken, <laughs> egg, chicken, egg, chicken, <laughs> egg. Well, if he has to come in the egg, then yeah, the chicken no, no. came first. <laughs> 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 the rooster makes the egg work. No. <laughs> so that debate is over. Jeff just solved the honey. I solved it. <laughs> the, the chicken ro- had to lay the egg for him to come on. So I, uh, it's an unfertilized egg. But I thought that they just lay <laughs> eggs and then the rooster fucks her and then she lays real eggs. How is, she gonna, how is she going to lay the egg? I don't know how we got here. I don't know. But I don't know, but I'm is, confused as fuck. I'm so so he comes lost. on the egg and the jizz just seeps through the shell? It's it's. I'm they, never eating an omelet again. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> they drop the eggs before you, they get fertilized. So, so you, all right. So the egg's sitting in the basket, just like fucking Easter. 
and he just comes <laughs> along and nuts on all these eggs. I'm so confused right now. What happens? He nuts on the eggs. What are you checking your steps? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I, I'm What are you talking about? I want to see birds fuck then. No, Google dude, it. Dude, I, I was at the zoo with this chick. Do birds fuck. She had birds that were landing on her like arms and her hands and this and that. And Is that how she got pregnant? No, no, because they didn't jizz on her. And literally in the video, she's like, look at those two birds are fucking. Hey, listen, I know a lot of shit. Maybe that slipped my mind. I, <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Well, I'm about just saying anything. that'd be like pulling out and nothing That's on her belly button and it seeps through and it she gets does pregnant. Happen. That's the story that he got about the birds and the bees. No, it doesn't happen. <laughs> it does happen. No, it happens because sex is like basketball. You dribble before you <laughs> shoot. <laughs> Let me tell you about the birds and the bees. He's okay? like, dude, she ain't going to get pregnant. I pulled out. I was like, dude. Did Sex you come is like on that basketball. Egg? All right, you're, you're why, dribbling um, before you shoot. I'm pro rubber. Pro rubber. Pro rubber. I would. Be. All I know is I'm allergic to latex. If, if if I'm if I'm single, if I'm not dating the person, I'm strapping up every time. Every time. Every time. Oh, That's damn. right, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to be wearing his dildo, supercharged, strapping up. Deer skin. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful coffee table piece. Hang that one right on the fucking mantle. Are you Googling uh, no, chickens no. fucking or no, what? No, no, no. I feel uh, like he is because the FBI is going to contact he's you. He's got a weird half, half smile. <laughs> I'm laughing at you guys because it's, it's funny. I didn't say anything funny. Did you say something funny? Huh? Our huh? phones are listening. Do you know that? The government. Yes, they are. Always, 24-7. Easy, Eddie Bravo. Let's not get on the conspiracy. There. Well, I'm Look just saying, keys. dude, Look you start keys. Googling chickens fucking, they're like, what's this guy up to? <laughs> dude, he doesn't even... See, the thing is, though, he doesn't even have to Google it. He starts starts typing it, and it's like, you know, C-8, and all of a sudden, it's like chickens fucking. You're like, dude, <laughs> well, my phone was listening. Well, what's going to happen it, now well, is when I go on Facebook and start scrolling down, it's going to be like, oh, here's... Two chicken fuckers. <laughs> and I'm like, why is this on my feed? Chicken fucker. <laughs> License and registration. Chicken fucker. fucker. <laughs> 20 bucks, I'll call you. the guy a chicken fucker. Woo. No, I was actually texting about Bears tickets for Thursday. Bears. Sausage. Super Dick, Bears. Uh, Super Bowl. Dick. Uh, God, I can't wait. I'm fucking tweaking out. Who's ball, guys? Fantasy football draft tonight. I can't fucking wait. Next week, Sunday. Next week, and we got another one next week. I had one last week. I really actually... Uh, I know I mean, we don't really want to get on like sports on this shit, but yeah. what do you guys think about Andrew Luck retiring hey, already? <laughs> you, don't, you don't want the 29 years old. He's He hasn't played in, what, 36 games, they said? Over his career, he doesn't want to keep being hurt. I understand that. Well, he was hurt before, and he came back last year, and, and he was the well, comeback was player of the year. 100%. And he tore it up. And Then he got hurt again, though. Yeah. And that, dude, think about that. That that. I'm sorry. You know psyche. what it is? He, he, he's he got money. You, you know what I heard yeah. the Colts did for him? $140 though, which million is, dollar oh. fucking contract. Well, yeah, his yeah. signing bonus for this year he got it's $25 million. He by by law. Pound sign ball. Well, yeah, yeah. cuz they they that's when they have a date of a release date. No, but it, by law right now if the Colts wanted to, they could say luck, you're not playing, you're retiring, give us the 25 million back and he would have to do it. And they've publicly came out and said already that they're going to let him keep it. No, cuz you know why? No, why? Cuz Jim Ursay is a fucking phenomenal owner. Yeah. Because listen. Yeah, wasn't well, he caught with like Prescription pills and prostitutes. <laughs> awesome no, fucking dude. No, that was awesome, that dude. would if be. If you want to hang Kraft. out anytime, bro, hit me up. No, yeah. Bob Kraft was getting fucking Jerk. jerked off at a fucking but, rub and tug. Rub and tug. But no, I'm talking about for your for your pl- as a play. I don't give a fuck what he does. He, if he wants to spend a million dollars, whatever. It's cool. They gave him twenty five million. Yeah, that's a lot. Like, I'm, Andrew, no, if someone gave me twenty five million right now, I wouldn't have to fucking work and I could retire. Well, yeah, it, <laughs> it depends. If you got a cool, like everyone fucking hates on the Bulls. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, the Bulls are cheap. Remember Jason Williams got in that motorcycle accident? They, yeah, they paid him his whole fucking contract. Yeah. That shit could have been voided. Right. People stand up sometimes in the, for the right well, reasons. And, yeah, and, that's what I, and that's what I'm saying. And Andrew Luck was the face of your franchise. And it's more, after, yeah, After a Hall of Fame quarterback left. What's after fucked Peyton up Manning is how he, barely pay, he barely played longer than Peyton Manning did. <laughs> when did Manning retire? 
like four years ago. Yeah. So he barely. He's played. been there for like what now? Eight years. Yeah. Because I heard Has something. Has been that long? Yeah, because he. I don't think it was that long. It's seven or eight years. Yeah, I mean, he's twenty nine. You get drafted. You're the o- or the oldest you are is twenty four. Right, so that's five years, and that's pretty much I thought was on his rookie contract because he just got paid like two years ago. Yeah. He's not that far into his contract, but, but he's over fifty it. million. Andrew Luck was a top tier quarterback. Oh, he's yeah, he's a monster. Yeah, until and when he got hurt, it took a little bit of his confidence away, and now he's in a walking boot right now. So yeah, it's it, when you get injured as many times that he has, dude had a lacerated spleen. Yeah, and still played. No, well, who's the playing. dude from uh, the 49ers that didn't he retire Garoppolo? after one year? No, that was oh. the linebacker. Yeah, he retired after what? The, one year. The kid from Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah. But Some you know why? Blue. Because he watched that goddamn concussion movie and he freaked out yeah some people think of the future well what's fucked up if 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 you think about this there's probably a lot of dudes out there that don't even really like playing football they just do it because they're good at it and they make money they're good at it and they make money they don't even really like doing it that's what's fucked up but if someone's like hey i'll pay you 12 million dollars for the next Sign four years up. And you're like, man, I really don't like playing football. But, but my, you're like, but my where am I taking care of? Yeah, where are you going to make that money? Exactly. No way. Anth- Anthony Rumble Johnson. Yeah. Phenomenal fighter. When his, after his last fight with Daniel Cormier, and when he retired, he goes, "Man, I don't even like fighting. I'm just a really good athlete." Yeah, he said, "I'm not a fighter. I'm an athlete." And now look at him. Dude weighs 275 pounds and is j- j- jacked. He, on this How's that go? He, what is he? He is j- j- jacked. Like yeah. 275 pounds of solid fucking wrecking machine. Yeah, dude. It's Some uh, people are just naturally fucking. Well, what, what, what did you talk about AJ you last week? About, <laughs> you heard about Andrew Luck. Why did he retire? I heard it last night. I was watching the game. But you, you said you seen something on the internet. Hmm? Didn't you say you saw something on the internet about Andrew Luck retiring? Well, yeah. They played uh, the Bears. And. Uh, I mean, the Bears' defense is so aggressive, they're making quarterbacks retire <laughs> during the preseason. <laughs> well, how many but I heard that. I was fucking dying. Pound sign, Khalil Max, bear a down. Monster. monster. He's not human. I agree. Dude's a freak. I'm not, not going to lie to you. I am worried about Green Bay this year. Um, how uh, dare you? We got the strongest schedule in the entire league. I, I really Khalil just, Mack doesn't even, like... I mean, yeah, he's big and he's a freak, but he doesn't look like he's confusing. You know what I'm saying? Like he's like so laid back. He's so chill, but he doesn't. He's not like a 300 pound monster. Well, you know? what's crazy is when you and watch then him he play. just pushes yeah 400 pounds dudes down with fucking one arm. <laughs> That's the like, thing. It's like his grace. Like you see guys before. going 200 miles it's an hour. It's fucking nuts. And they're hitting people so hard and they're fucking pushing and they're swinging their arms and they're trying to spin and they're trying to fucking do a swim move. And they're doing all this shit. And, and Cleo Mack does it. It looks like he's jogging. It's, like he runs up and just boom, pushes some the dude. People, he goes some over. people just have that gene. He, he's he's He's... He's like the Mickey Mantle of our time. You know what I mean? He's a monster. Some just people just have that gene like, Bert you Kreischer. are not going to beat me. Bert, no. Michael Jordan. It's not going to happen. Michael Jordan had it. Yeah, yeah but no, the problem is, I, like, believe in ca- monsters. I, I feel like Khalil Mack is the type of dude that's like a chill dude. Like Michael Jordan, if you like beat him at like cards on the plane coming home from He'd the game, pissed. he would hate you for the next six months. Yeah. Uh, like I heard a lot a of stories about like Michael Jordan, obviously the greatest basketball player known Ever. to man. Millennials, don't get me fucking started on LeBron Ever. James. Jordan, Jordan is the greatest basketball player of all fucking time. And a story. But do you hear stories about like oh, yeah. how he, he punched Steve Kerr? He Steve Kerr's the nicest dude. He would not lose. He would not lose at anything. And if you beat him, he would fucking hate you forever. Hence the reason why he has a massive gambling addiction. But is like that- Robin, Robin uh, Rodman told him or when he first got to the team, the first thing Jordan told him is he says, all the other bullshit is over. You better give it 110% here and you fuck this up, I'll kill you. And that was it. He never <laughs> talked to him really about it after again. that. That was it, though. You know what, though? Even when they I were playing. I want my leader to tell me that. 
Right? I, that's I, I want because listen, you fucked well, he up. Was, I'll fucking he was kill part you. of the bad boys, and Rodman, you know, like hated Pippen and Jordan. Right. So like when they signed him, Phil Jackson had a meeting with Rodman, Jordan, and Pippen, and that's when he said that shit. Yeah. And then they had like a thirty for thirty about the Pistons, and then they ended up like talking to Rodman about it, and he's like, "Yeah, when I played there, I honestly didn't even really talk to Jordan and Pippen. Like he just showed up." Because they and hate, left because he was making his money. Yeah, he was going to win championships, championships and, and it was solidifying Dennis Rodman as a Hall of Famer. Yeah, Woo. but you know what he knew? He knew if he fucked this up, Jordan was going <laughs> to kill him. <laughs> Jordan, listen, Jordan's dad got killed because of gambling debts because of Michael. Well, I mean, there was it was never proven. In yeah, that's law. But let's not go fucking <laughs> speculation. Yeah, <laughs> but listen, that I, was the I, rumor. Like I said, I, well, the I, whole I, rumor was that Jordan, when he had his retirement, the first one, that was because of gambling. Yeah, like he was going to get busted for gambling. So the commissioner is like, you know, take, take a year take off, take some time off, take blah blah off, blah, play go baseball. play fucking baseball. Like that was the whole fucking rumor. Which he got paid going to do the baseball thing. Well, that's the problem about like yeah, okay, so social media, social media yeah. nowadays, you know everything that fucking happens. Yeah, like back in the day, like Jordan Pippen, even Rodman kind of spoke about it. He's like, yeah, we would, we had a game in Utah when they were playing the Jazz, the Utah Jazz in the finals. Yeah, He's ball. like, we would fly to Vegas, we would get fucked up, gamble all night till four in the morning, and then we'd go and play a playoff game the next fucking night. Right, and murder <laughs> them. People think just because they're professionals or this and that that like they just they, they're by the they're in the gym they're working no they're normal but nowadays that would be all over fucking social media 299 hand jobs just just, flying everywhere just, <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ tiki torches oh i can't even control them so <laughs> stop throwing shit at me <laughs> throwing your 299 hand jobs they're away. all falling <laughs> <laughs> man i can't i can't wait till we start videoing these Fuck you, Tiki Torches. I can't wait till we start videoing these. <laughs> oh, Which, hey, goodness. congratulations, boy. We're, we're on YouTube. We are on YouTube now. Yes. You can check us out at The Gentleman's Dead on YouTube. There's actually podcasts up on YouTube. But now. you know what we're not doing? Tanning these thighs. Not at all. Dude, I got sunglasses on, and that's fucking bright. <laughs> Put those things away. Hashtag no tan on the thighs. Bro, do you see this guy's legs? They're like mine, bro. I got, this, I got this natural... Yeah, you got that natural Bronze. olive. We are we already skin, talked bro. about this. You want a bar- ass is tanner than my face, <laughs> 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 and I'm pretty fucking tan. It's probably just about as hairy too with that big beard How you got. Dare you? Oh man, self-deprecating podcast today. Let's go. What Let's get word? into what it. What was that word he just said? Do you understand what he said? You guys want to politely big insult words. each other? Remember that game? <laughs> P- politely. <laughs> you have hairy legs. Hmm. You heard me. I said you have hairy legs. Yeah, because I don't shave them. Unlike somebody. Crickets. Unlike somebody. I think we've talked about this. I shave I shave my whole body, including one time my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Captain then, Chafe. Whew. Never so, found the power of gold. I, I, keep, I keep it neat. You know what I'm saying? You got it, bro. Keep it high and tight. Right, manscaping. Yeah, I, I understand it. I'm just gonna shave like my upper leg the, and then leave like the lower leg probably like hairy as fuck. like halfway through, so it looks like I'm wearing a wool sock. <laughs> 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 How fucking funny would that be? Oh, oh it'd be shit. fucking hilarious! You like, should bro, totally what the do it. fuck is up with your legs, man? You should totally do it. Socks. Like, dude, it's a wool sock. And you could even like <laughs> shave lines down them, like long yeah, two the, sides. Uh, Larry Bird's. <laughs> yeah. We'll put like a oh, fucking. Oh no! We'll dye the hair. The put the converse colors. symbol. Yeah. We'll do. We'll do like an orange and a blue. You should do it for America. Easy, bro. They're not that hairy. Oh, they're pretty fucking hairy. They're pretty Sasquatch. Hairy. Hey, like I a, found Bigfoot. Like it? No, I'm sitting over here. <laughs> <laughs> we had this conversation last week. I'll let the back hair grow and just paint me blue. I'm beast. Yeah. Dude, Can we pour be some more shots or best what? Best costume. I'm drinking. Frankie, out of the did you fart? My pussy. ice is melting again. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> These green tamales, bro. Oh, Trust oh, me, you wouldn't be sitting so close Jesus to me. Jesus Christ, man. I, had, I enjoy them. Like I said, I had three for breakfast, and then lunch came around. I didn't take a lunch, so I ended up grabbing like three more. And then I went home, and I made like six of them, and I gave some to the dude cutting the grass, and I ate like three more. 
And then, uh, was it yesterday afternoon? I had a couple more. You so get, I've had so like, some guy was outside <laughs> cutting your grass and you just came out with a plate of chimichangas? I did. I said tamales. Tamales. Tamales, tamales way? He was like, see. Si. <laughs> que paso, <laughs> way. Like, you want a water or a pop? He's like, both. See, si. <laughs> Man. These day laborers now. Oh, Christ. He gets paid well, bro. Young Hefe, you want to do this other shot? Let's do this other yeah, shot. Yeah, is Francis going to do one? I Where? got the bottle in my fucking... <laughs> Easy. Slapping the bass. Take it easy. Slapping the bass. So. I used to work at this warehouse, and uh, I worked with a Spanish dude. He really didn't speak English at all. So you could say anything to him, and he would say, yeah, see? Yeah, see? How was that? Pretty close? Hey, do you fuck goats? Yes, see? (laughs) Yes, see? (laughs) He would just shake his head and say, yeah, see? All right. To episode 13. Lucky Cheers. Number. What do, we, what do I have in here? Proper 12 or patties? You got the 12. You got the 12. Oh, I got you got the, the patties. I got the Jameson. Yeah. I got to tell you, this proper 12, Conor McGregor. Slap an old man for talking shit about hey, getting beat up by a Russian. He wouldn't, he wouldn't do his shot. He offered him a shot of his own whiskey. Yeah, you know what he said? The guy turned it down, and he knocked him in the fucking mouth. He, yeah, but he the guy's 90 years old, and he didn't even fucking stun him. So though. we're doing... I know, that's Yeah, but he probably didn't hit him that hard. All right, so we have Patty's, Proper 12, and Jameson. What do you guys think? We're doing a review right now online. I'm a Patty's guy. I hate guy. fucking whiskey, by the way. I'm a Patty's guy myself. All right, in my opinion, Patties. I would say the Jameson is very good. The uh, proper twelve has a little bit more of a bolder taste. It's similar to the Jameson, but a little bit more fuller. Got a little punch to it. Yeah, a little, a little bit more. The fuller proper body. twelve, I will say, if you if you mix it with Coke or Dr Pepper, tastes yes, like I prefer Dr whiskey. Pepper. If you don't really like whiskey, whiskey and Dr Pepper. Well, the patties. Winning combination. The patties is really smooth. The patties is good by itself. For it sure. has it has a, a a real strong finish, but it's very smooth. I would say that's probably the smoothest out of the three. I would say the f- most flavorful would definitely be the proper 12. And I would say the Jameson is <sighs> my best friend. I love Jameson. But Me too. But I, w- the, I the want to freeze it. Marry it. I want to freeze I it. I would. <laughs> then we can, in the winter, we could skate on it. Then and we could melt it in the summer and drink it. <laughs> Movie reference. Movie reference. Shots. Shots. Let's do them. Shots. 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 Hey, shot, to, shot, uh, shot. to YouTube. Hopefully we'll make that money. To YouTube, and this shot's to you. Fucking look at me like that. To oh. you. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. Andrew Luck retires because he's beat the fuck up. <laughs> Frankie just may or may not have coughed a little bit harder. I don't know what it was. I honestly almost sneezed, coughed, and <clears throat> wanted to, like, vomit at the same time. I was thinking of the other day, like, what's worse? All right, so everyone's been to a party. No, I've never been. I'm not invited. Everyone's been to a party with some guys, like, just bust out a guitar. And you're yeah. like, fuck this guy. Because you know he's getting all the fucking <laughs> pussy. And you know he told his best friend to be like, hey, bro, at 1230, I want you to be like... Go get this fucking guitar. Just be like, hey, man, I found this guitar just in the fucking corner. And then he just starts playing it, Can and all the play? pussy just flocks. But I remember being at this party, drip, drip. and this guy's like, hey, do you guys want to see this this movie I'm in? <laughs> <laughs> what? He shot like a fucking pilot for like this fucking movie. We're all sitting there and uh, you know, drinking, getting fucked up, and he just... Gets out the fucking DVD player, and he or no, this is a VHS, <laughs> and he just puts in his movie and he's like, check this out, and he's fucking shredded. Someone just sprayed him with a bottle of fucking oh, Vaseline. He's, he's got Crisco dripping off him. And all these girls are like, that's you, and he's like, yeah, baby. Let's watch to the end though. Psh, be quiet. I'm talking. I'm gonna talk soon. <laughs> What was this video about? We'll discuss it pretty soon here. Oh. Because I know the man who made the video. It's coming. It's coming. 
It's coming. You can watch it on the YouTube, but we'll talk about it when we have our special guest on. Soon, hopefully. Soon. Soon. Hopefully. Special guest. There will actually but be. But what's worse, some guy few. who busts out a guitar at a party few. or a guy who brings a VHS tape of a movie that he's in? VHS tape. Oh, I don't know. It's 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 close. Because I don't know how VHS fucking good is the guitar is probably, player. If he could play and if sing, he can play, I'll sit there and watch it. Yeah, yeah like, that's what's up. Yeah, but if he sucks dick, put the movie on. I could ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> when the movie's all like slow shots, where it starts at his feet and then shows his wool sock. That, I'm gonna go outside likes. and smoke at that time. <laughs> Yeah, like, can you yeah, smoke in this it. house? No, this was a fancy house. You couldn't smoke inside. Yeah, I'd be outside. Yeah, you had to go outside. I don't even smoke, and I'd be outside having a cigarette. Yep. I don't even know how I ended up at this house. Do you remember that mansion that we showed up to? And I really don't. I was fucked up, but we showed up at some house. I think it was like yeah, a Halloween. It was Jill's house. Huge fucking. That's the most expensive house in K Town County, bro. No, this it's is, on an this island. Is a man, yeah, no, I remember that one. I went, I drove there. I was like, where the fuck are we going? We going across the bridge to the island? I was like, this it, is fucking crazy. That bridge is sketchy. It's yeah, hot, it was. Dude. I was like, where the Very fuck are we going? Thin bridge. And I was already pregame, so I was already like, what the fuck? And then like all of a sudden, I pull up and see this giant rock waterfall, and you guys on the top DJing and the fucking pool party. Every time we cross that bridge, I just think of True Lies. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, rockets are going to... But no, this was Halloween, I feel like. And we were looking for a party. And we were driving around. And someone hit us up. And they're like, yeah, we're at this mansion party. And we pulled up to this mansion. It looked like no one was there. Yes, I do remember this. Yes, okay. There was like no one there. It was my buddy Chris. 50 people there. Yeah. But it was like... It was such a good place. See, me and you were like regular dudes, right? Regular dudes. So we pull up in there. Everyone's wearing like... What are they called? Those shirts with the collars? Polos? <laughs> it's like that. Yeah, it's like country club guys. Do you want to get into that quick, Frankie? Polos? What oh, polos? A polo shirt? What's a what polo? What is a polo shirt? It's the a polo shirt is the one with the guy with on top of the bull with the whip, the little <laughs> the little embroidered, right? That's a polo. We had this fucking whole discussion. That's what I thought it was. It was a little guy on a fucking. You're like, oh bowl yeah, a, a polo and... shirt. Yeah, the logo with the guy on the bull with the whip. We're like, what? Yeah, it's what. Yeah, it's... he's whacking an armadillo. <laughs> Goddamn armadillo penetrating. And we're my like, perimeter. no, it's called a polo shirt because it's a guy on a, on a horse, horse playing, playing polo. polo. <laughs> Fuck, it makes sense. <laughs> What's the nautical one? Isn't it a sailboat? Yes, because it's nautical. It has to do with water. What other ones are there that... Agua. What about Tommy Hilfiger? That's what just it, Tommy Hilfiger. What about the... Just uh, a dude. Lacoste? With the alligator? <laughs> oh, Lacoste? Lacoste? Le, yeah, there What does go. that have to do with an alligator? I have no idea. Is that Spanish for alligator? <laughs> <laughs> it might be Spanish for alligator. <laughs> Lacoste. Maybe. And then Something. there was the Lacoste. It was coming for me. Lacoste doesn't sound like alligator in Spanish. No. So that sounds like German. And yeah. Lacoste. Angry. Angry. Very, it's a very angry German language. is angry. Everything. Like if you watch those fucking Hitler videos. <laughs> very everything angry says, language. I say, 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 Why are you always yelling? Don't yell. Because I'm German. I know. Just don't yell. Bella's German comes out real hard because it's mixed with that Italian, so she is yelling all oh. the time. <laughs> Can't turn that off. She's German and Italian, so it is just loud talking. Sass for days. Sass and loud talk. We were driving, yeah, to drop my daughter off at my sister's house, and Sean's like, "Why is she yelling?" I was like, "She, it's basically Samuel L. Jackson. That's exactly, <laughs> that's how she talks. It was. She's it not was, yelling." <laughs> That is how she talks. <laughs> What's was, up, motherfuckers? It was literally the Will Ferrell character from Saturday Night Live when he was talking about, I have voice of modulation. I can't control it. It's me and Pete Sampras. <laughs> that is Bella. She doesn't. Her voice is right at that right pitch right now where it is just loud even if she whispered. She's, I want she's, more candy. she's a savage, guys. I don't know what to do. She is. She, she is a sauvage. Did you, thank God I got my my fucking volume off my phone. My pocket's been vibrating like crazy. I'm getting all these trade offers. Uh, Something bro. must have happened. 
draft. Fantasy you football got a draft? season. I got a draft tonight. Yes, later tonight. Frankie and I's draft is next week. Which, uh, yeah. I, Number four pick. Oh, let's go say Quant Barkley fall to us. I want to do a fantasy draft, too. I've never done one, but I want to do one with the no, listeners. Are you, are, are you fucking serious I that agree. you're going to do it? Because I'm only going to do it if the listeners do it. I'm not doing I don't, it. I know some listeners I don't give a that fuck, will definitely bro. do it. Yeah. Who? So are you seriously? Committed? Your mom doesn't count. <laughs> she just never listened to this. Thank God. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. My mom you're, listens you're, every week, and I'm like, oh, So fuck. does Kayla's mom. So does my mom. Jesus. Oh, God. My mom's... Uh, maybe she does. I don't know. I'm going to have to ask her. I don't think she does. She probably wouldn't know Your how mom? to do it. Yeah, she wouldn't know how to do it. My mom listens every week. She knows I'm fucking crazy. I, I mean, what see, do I do? See, that's the thing with us, our, our moms. Our moms are like... Say it again so the like, listeners can know which one you're talking moms, about. Jeff and Jeff and mine's moms. <laughs> Are like, our sons are both assholes. We get it. I'm not an asshole. You, you, your mom is like Frankie is a prince. He does no Frankie, wrong. Francis, I can't believe you said that. Here's your coke. Honey. You cursed. <laughs> Here's your coke. Said a bad word. But, and I'm alright. Are these hot pockets? Are they and warm I'm, enough for you? Yeah, right. <laughs> My mom and dad are the fucking coolest. I mean, in, in all honesty, they're assholes, but I love them and they're the coolest. You know, my my uncle actually started listening to the podcast, and I started laughing because he's like, "Love is only a light switch away." I'm using that from now on. <laughs> I'm like, "God damn it, that's so good." That's what I'm saying. Hey, you wanted to put it under comedy, but I was like, "This learning. needs to be educational." Educational. Right. Let's life just say lessons. you had ten chicks in a room, right? And you turn the lights off. Are they your chicks or everybody else's? No, no, chicks? you're gonna you're gonna rate these chicks, these ten women. You're gonna you're gonna judge them on how hot are they are. You're going to rate, gonna, them. rate, 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 R A T. Yes, please. Rate. Let's clarify. I said rate. Jesus Christ. That it did. It sound totally like, sounded like it sounded rate. like Cosby words right there. You said rate. You gonna give them the fucking Spanish fly in their fucking drink? What's no, no. no. If here? you were gonna, if you were just gonna judge them and put them on a scale of one to ten, how hot they are. Okay. And they're all in a room. And you okay. turn the lights off. They all are tens, baby. <laughs> mm. Speaking of judging on a scale, let's talk about Sick. one of our good buddies. Now, you know what? We're not even going to put him in a good buddy category. Buddy, buddy. We're going to put him as a acquaintance now. Because when Yeah, you, we used to hang out with this guy all the fucking time. And when you try to bury everybody for pussy. Yeah. Even when you're married. Even when you're married. <laughs> You're, you're not a dude. You're a bitch. <laughs> you're married, bro. Don't be a cock blocker. Your shit's over. Yeah. Don't ruin my party. Yeah, you, you retired your fucking jersey. You're, your cock's you're retired. You're in the rafters. You're up in the rafters. I feel like Let I the should guys know that are still this is, in the but game. I don't know. He, Will you stop touching he, me? He used, your knee bothers hey, me. He used to have, it looks like it's broken. He used to have hair. We'll just leave it at that. And he used to live it with me. Okay. All oh, right, so let's get to I'm the there two hundred percent. Let's talk about. Let's talk stop about, blocking my cock. Let's talk about uh, the old school days. You know, like e bombs world, hot or not, and dot hot or com. not dot com. My, my space. This is before Tinder. Hot my or not dot com was the shit. Yeah, you just sat there and clicked for hours. You would like, oh, I, I'm just. I'm and you would rate people. So some girl or would you say would put her picture up? Would you just say you said rate right? Rate. 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 Okay. Because you, you said it sounded people. like you said you rate people. You rate people. You rate people. On this. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you it's rate them. You very, rate them so hard. It's very fluid. Go All right. So there's two websites you went to, and it was E-Bombs World and Hot or Not. And there was a bunch of people that would just volunteer their photo, and people would rate it. So some hot chick you would get rate, like right? a 9.2. So, yeah. He and... 9.2, 9.5, that's what it all ends up to. If you were hot. If you were hot. If you get you a 9 not, or above. There was a lot of zeros that got hit. Zeros and ones that got hit. My rating would have been 69. 69. 6.9. Because it only went to 10. So, this idiot. <laughs> he puts his fucking picture up there. This fucking dummy. <laughs> What was his rating? (laughs) 4.5. 4.5 out of 10. And what did he do after that? Did he he, uh, He drown his sorrows and his tears? 
Did he try and work on his physique? No. No. He tattooed 4.5 on his arm. (laughs) 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 Who the fuck does that? He's like, yeah. And now he's got to explain it every time. They're like, what the fuck is 4.5? Yeah, I was on Hot or Not, and I'm like below halfway <laughs> everyone must think like oh shit like it must have been out of five right no it was out of ten Four we're gonna do five. that as you're proud group. of that you guys want to do it no i don't because i already know i'm gonna get like a fucking two and a half so i'm how right dare with you, you? don't chicks tell yourself love, short yeah, dude you're like a lumberjack you put a flannel on chicks would eat you up i'm not putting a fucking flannel chicks on. are in the <laughs> chicks are in the woodsy guys with beards yeah yeah, I, don't, I, listen, do, I don't know what it is. They, my self-esteem is buried so deep in my backyard anyway, so let's just not do that for well, well, let's boost I'm a friend. You let me bro. know if you want me to come over. We could dig it up. Life's a garden, bro. Dig it. Dig it. Hey, listen. I'm I'm happy with me. That's be good. You. So let's do this I, uh, hey, hot but, or not. But is the, that so the problem website? Is, the problem is there's no fucking personality on this hot or not it's just a fucking visual because your personality is a 10 i'm a fucking 14 in personality baby you're 14 an asshole hey that's personality (laughs) fucker (laughs) that's personality 14 fucking straight up dick hey you know when you're good at something that was a polite insult frankie about Five years ago, you probably could have got like a nine point two. Right now, <laughs> right, right now, now what, what do you mean? Solid five and a half. I don't know. You're resting still, your phone on your gut. No, I'm not. <laughs> checking your fantasy draft. I'm getting trade offers and shit. Will you move your legs out of my side? <laughs> oh shit, that's good. We my, used to walk through the mall, and chicks would just come up flock, to Francis and be like, let flocking. me get your number. You're so fucking hot. Flocking. And then now you're like. Now they're, now they're like. You know hey, why? Because hey, I'm not the, a piece of meat. Now, I don't it's like, be now it's like when you go to the county fair and feed the animals. <laughs> <laughs> as long now as you got steak. Now when Frankie goes to the mall, they're like, hey, where's Bed Bath & Beyond? It's over that See, way. Frankie goes on like Tinder and then sw- you know, I do the not. girls are like, "Hey, do you want to go out for dinner?" He's like, "Yeah, not because you're good looking, because I like to eat. <laughs> I, I just want to go out to dinner, <laughs> just to go out to dinner." Exactly. Are, you look weird like, when you you're sitting at the table. You don't even want to go on a date. No. You just want to go eat. No. But, but Frankie's answer usually is, "Are you paying?" <laughs> when have I ever made anyone pay? No, Frankie's balling. No, bro. hey. He's balling out of control. See, I'm making I, I'm, a joke for the podcast. I, I had that mentality back when I was younger when I would get these random chicks coming up to me all the time. I'm just a piece of meat. They the just angles. want me for my body. I had the, the angles. angles. I'm good. I look good in motion, not in pictures, though. When I'm standing still, not so much. But I would I would always feel like, you know what? Like, what if I was a little bit fucking fatter and I didn't have a body like this? And you know what I mean? Who's going to love me for me? Because no one's bot- No one's beautiful forever. So I You should laugh. probably lay down on the couch right now. I'm you want to talk about it? <laughs> no, I keep rubbing my shoulders, I, though. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh because Facebook likes to uh, put those pictures of, you know, oh, 10 years ago today. When I look good. And I'm, I'm looking at these pictures, and I'm like, I look exactly the same. Fuck I'm, off. I'm, I'm an even run. Then I'm like. Look, That's a secret. Like. Look, there's Jeff's fat stage. There's Jeff's super rip stage. There's Jeff's you anorexic stage. How dare you? What? I mean, you I got- had dick root veins like four years ago. <laughs> it's it's it freaks me out so much because it goes from like when I first met Jeff. <laughs> fucking. When you first met me, I was about 130 pounds, soaking wet with a brick in your pocket, bean. and then I went up to 197, and I was like. There's no way I'm going to 200. Well, I've lost 40 pounds twice. And then the so I went from 197 to 155. The then joke. I went back up to 190. Then I went to 150. And like, now, right now, I'm 170. Jeff, for, from working at the factory he worked at for so Still long, fat. is all <laughs> shoulders. If yeah. you look at a picture Trap from Zilla, the, bro. if you look at a picture from the <laughs> neck up. <laughs> Jeff is all. You would think neck. I'm Dave Batista. And then you get down, the and you're up. just like, "What the fuck happened to the oh, rest of it?" Jesus. And you Christ. have no butt. You just have back and then legs. Well, that's um, that's why my lower back hurts because my ab strength and glutes. <laughs> I have no ass. Jeff, Jeff has a lack of ass. He, it's it, a flat it, board. 
It's almost like someone ice cream scooped his ass cheeks out. Flat well, good jack. thing it's 2019 where, you know, guys get their eyebrows waxed and fake tans and yeah. fake butts. If you get a fake ass, I'm punching you so hard in the face. Do <laughs> it, might dude. happen. Do it. I'm so punching. I'm punching so hard. You could squat it out because, listen, both your sisters got the gene in them. You got the gene in you, too. I got the gene. Squat it out, brother. I like that. I do some squats. Squats. <laughs> squats. I've been doing my bun busters every day. I squeeze it tight. And then I, then I release. <laughs> <laughs> we Let should do a competition. Strong, you guys man. want to do like a weight loss competition I'm 100% or something? In. Let's do it. Fuck you guys. I'm cutting the sugar out of my diet, and I'm going to lose a bunch of weight. Which means I, I'm hammering down the next week because we're going to start it on Labor Day. I'm 175 right now. I'm I want to get back right. down to 150. 280 flat. I'll, I'll, do, I'll do this. Next weekend, it's Labor Day weekend. All right, so we're going to take... Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to take pictures. I got stipulations, God damn it. Oh, Jesus. It starts after the holiday. That's fine. So September after 2nd. After Labor Day. September 2nd. Is go time. We, all, right, all right, so what's going on? After Labor Day, we're going to start. What's and you going can't on wear next white. weekend? No we just hanging out white. around the house, staying here. We got the draft going on, I know, on Sunday. Sunday, we got the draft. Uh, we're going to the game Thursday now because I just got the tickets. What? <laughs> Thursday? I, Thursday Thursday. The preseason night. game? Yeah, I got I the work tickets. on Friday, I'm man. out, bro. You're out? All right, that's fine. I'll find somebody. You're crazy. <laughs> I don't have to work Fridays. I'm I know. Cool you're Lucky it. you. We we both yeah, do. No, I'm, out. I'm gonna get four Bill George bobbleheads by myself. <laughs> I'm out on what? Pre- I'm out on preseason. Yeah, week one. No, let's go. We're going to the Chargers game. So that's right. What's that mean? Chargers. Chargers is October 27th. That's when we're going to the game. Hopefully, it's still weather, good weather. But <clears throat> I totally fucking forgot what the fuck. What the fuck are you? The fuck you you, you just about? stopped the momentum. No, well, you were talking. You, you interrupt me with the tickets, and I, I lost. What we were doing this next All right, are we doing a competition or what? Hold on. Because I'm winning. I, I'm going to Elkhart I'm just Lake putting the it weekend out after Labor Day. No, I'm just putting it out there right now. Whatever weight loss or whatever competition we're doing, I'm winning. All right, doing, so what's I'm the Annie? What's the Annie? There, there's no Annie. This is a gentleman's bet. Well, fuck. What the fuck does that mean? There's got to be some kind of fucking Annie. Right. Are you ready? Do you want to do it? What is he? Sean just went to the bathroom again. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. Every time he goes to the bathroom, we're going to talk about Madden. Madden? Yeah, the video game. What do you think about it? You got Madden 20, right? Yeah, I feel like we were there last time, though. That's I know. This is exactly what we did last time when he went to the bathroom. <laughs> we're just talk about Madden the whole time. So we have the uh, Xbox group. Xbox, yeah, the Xbox uh, T G T D G. Huh? <laughs> Try it again. Go ahead. <laughs> no one heard it. Just restart it. T G D T G D Gaming. Gaming. <laughs> I think I'm gonna buy it. Check it out. Oh yeah. For what? You're not gonna play. <laughs> Well, I don't need to play though, because you you build your offense. What do you mean? I don't even really defense. play it. Well, what the fuck, man? I did I did do a fantasy draft last weekend when I did my uh, other fantasy football drafts. Me and Dylan did one in the franchise mode. Hashtag. Oh, sorry. Are we going to talk ball. about when when Sean comes back? What happened this weekend? Yeah. No. I I do want to call him out. I don't get it. He just walked up. We were trying to talk about what's going on this weekend. I don't know. He just left. He didn't even say, hey, guys, I have to pee. He just, right. he just fucking took the... Oh, here he comes. Oh, here. Shh, shh, shh. Be cool, be cool, quiet, be cool. Quiet, 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 What happened? Where'd you go? So, yeah, just seamlessly. Like I was saying, yeah, we Yeah, then we weekend, walked then, over there, and but, what happened with that thing? <laughs> oh, boy. So, next weekend, Labor Day weekend, let's all get together. Let's have some fun, this and that. The weekend after that... Elkhart Lake. I don't care if we go for the one day Can't. or two. Why? Uh, something, I got a family shit going on that Saturday. Don't fucking lie to me with I'm your not, made I got, up I got stories. The, no, I got the family Olympics going on that day. Saturday, <laughs> September 8th. I've never heard of the Olympics. It's been going on <laughs> since 74, but I've never heard of it before. The family Family Olympics? Olympics. Go ahead and explain more of that to I, me then. If I, no, no, could, no, I could if I would. But we what have do you guys have? Like shirts. a long jump? I don't know what it is. We don't know what the games are. It's freaking us the fuck out. Uh, it's it's probably trap. one of those it's games a trap. I'm not like, going. where you like put the balloon on your crotch and you have it's to gonna, pop the bubble yeah, against yeah, your fucking, fucking cousin's ass. Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's exactly. That's what you're going to go do over Elkhart no, Lake? But 
if it's beer drinking, they're all fucked. Well, Elkhart Lake is imports the I, weekend after. I had to buy a shirt. I have to go. You had because you bought a shirt. You have to go I now. I have to go. I'll give you the twenty dollars for the shirt. I have to go. Give you another nut rag. To Jeff use. went to his uncle's. Hence the reason why we're so- shooting this a fucking day later. That's fine. I have to go. It's family. I didn't buy a shirt to go to my uncle's. <laughs> it's family. I have to go. Easy, Vin Diesel. Family. <laughs> Give me a Corona. Family. Are you driving your Charger? So what's what's the bet for the fucking weight loss challenge? I'm only doing I'm the thinking weight loss like, chance if we go to Elkhart Lake. I'm thinking like $10,000. <laughs> Right. Someone want to sponsor each? our weight loss challenge? Ten thousand dollars each. I mean, so winner takes the thirty. Racks. I don't even yeah. have ten thousand dollars, ten thousand pennies. So I you guys can... are fucked though, because I am a savage. Oh, shut up! My mental prowess. Jeff, I'm a competitor, and I'm gonna beat you. Jeff's our Joe Rogan. I will fucking kill you guys in a way. I would challenge. fucking kill you. Not a chance in hell because you love Culver's. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a chance you're beating me in a weight loss competition. Not a chance. Hey, I'm not lying. One month? I'm I not could. lying. Not I'm, a chance. I'm not lying. I'm coming in third. A real hard thing. I actually, you know what? I might be able to beat Frankie because of his addiction to Culver's. Wow. Frankie is no losing faith. for sure. All right. So next week, we're going to weigh ourselves. We'll address it on the podcast. And then we're fucking, let's go for it, dude. Uh, I'm that fucking serious. Are we serious. weighing ourselves naked? Yeah, in the morning, naked. You right. have to. Because that's when you're at your lightest. All right. So I'm going to eat like a motherfucker this week. That's what That's what I've been doing, like I told Jeff in the car. Yeah, you've been doing. <laughs> I've been doing it. Been I've done, done, been done, done it. doing it. <laughs> Not because of the challenge, just because you love Oreo cookies and milk. They're delicious. They are delicious. Chips are Fuck your chips, ahoy. If you're going to get fucking goddamn chocolate chip cookies, make them yourself. They're way better than chips, ahoy. You make your own cookies? I'll make you oatmeal cookies that will knock your dick in the dirt. <laughs> Almonds will you make them. Oatmeal, that's good protein, though. Why don't Almonds you make you oatmeal make cookies? You I, guys are fucked. Yeah, I can't make oatmeal cookies. I'm just going to tell you right now, you guys are fucked. I'm just going to make it better than sex chance. cake, and I I'm going to bring don't. it over, and I'm going to say... Hey guys, hey, better than sex cake. But don't give up, Sean. I'm not giving up. I just don't stop believing. I just know. It, it, there's always that one day where you just you hit the fucking plateau. Where you're like, give me a Snickers. There's not though. Give there's me not. a Snickers. There's, there's when not you put one your day mind on to the it. calendar says that. Oh, when you put your day. mind to Actually, it, you can do anything. I have a Snickers calendar. You're a fucking <laughs> liar. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday, oh, August 15th. That's a cool story, bro. That's a Snickers but this one day. time, I jumped from one building 3,000 miles over to the next building, and then I tuck and rolled and back clipped off to another building 2,000 miles away. Wow, you were reading the new Fast and Furious skit, weren't you? I was. I was in it. What do you think mm. did all the stunts? Mm. Except Frankie's <laughs> was the slow and retarded. Oh, my God. <laughs> What a great movie. What did we watch the other day? What did I make you watch? Me? Yeah. We got uh, my house drinking. We sat down on my couch and I was like... Pfft. Fast and the Fierce? Goddamn right. Greatest movie oh, ever made. Oh, the original? Because you, wanted, OG, you just bro. wanted to jerk off to the Supra. Supra came on the screen. I'm like, I'm going downstairs to go to smoke. Hey, if alone. anybody has a Supra that they want to donate to the Gentleman's Den just so Jeff can... Coat it in his fucking man gravy. Mm. It's jizz. Mm. Mm. I'm buying one, guys. Just Contact jizz. us at the gentleman's den pod at gmail.com. All I do is take proper 12 and look at supers. Hey, Connor McGregor. Proper 12 cocks. Good. I'll, I'll talk Who better. Who the fuck is that guy? I'll talk. I'll talk better about your whiskey if you sponsor our podcast. That was like <laughs> that was Australian. That wasn't even. Yeah, it wasn't. I don't know. I don't just got a shit with his barge. Wiry. That's more like pikey. <laughs> that was a lot of pikey in there. I don't you like care. digs? Yeah, I like digs. You like digs? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> is Connor going to fight again or what? He's re Quotes. Retired. No, he's not. He, he, uh, it's, it's there. The problem is, is Nate Diaz coming back and beating Anthony Pettis is fucking. 
Do That'd they, be a great fight. Do they go Connor Con- and do Nate? Do they go Connor Nate or do they go Jorge Masvidal and Nate? Because Jorge Masvidal just knocked fucking Ben Askren fucking flat. No, Jorge. he needs the. I don't think he can beat the Russian. Connor. Yeah. The Russians. I will fighting, break you. The Russians fighting Dustin. Nebukamenov. Is that his name? Nergig. Nergig. I can't even say it. <laughs> Try that one more time. It's, it's Khabib. Khabib, Khabib, uh, Khabib. never cut off. I don't think Connor can beat him. I think that's why I someone think he needs retired. to whoop that dude's ass. I think he fought him, and he's like, mm, "Can't I think do it. I think I'm from, retiring." I think from now on, it's all money fights with Connor. So it doesn't. Oh, even, he's fighting it, Floyd Mayweather again. It, it doesn't mean anything about a title. All I heard was that Floyd Mayweather and. Uh, uh, Pacquiao was going to happen again, and I'm like, I'm not falling for it twice. Yeah, please don't. We it paid wasn't. for this once already. See, I'm not buying that fight. You know Slap no, fucking buy I, it You know what I want to see is I want to see Manny Pacquiao and Lomachenko. I'll pay Lomachenko for that fight. Lomachenko will fuck him up. I'll pay for that fight, though. That, I would, too. That would be beautiful. You know what I want to see? Brad Pitt and Ed beast. Norton. Ooh. That would be a fucking... They made a movie about it. How about <laughs> Justin Bieber and Tom Cruise? Let's get it. That's what I'm saying. Let's get Tom it. Cruise is a fucking. He defeated the aliens twice. No, wait, I'm sorry. Three, three times. times. Yeah, it's not going to happen. His high school friends thought he was a pimp. Tom Cruise is going to fuck up anyone he fights because he's a goddamn American hero. How about Steven Seagal versus the world? Sorry, world. Ooh. I don't know. Seagal's just flipping Russians without even breaking a wrist. You know. Every, we make all the joke, you know, the Chuck Norris jokes were a huge thing back in the day. Chuck Norris. What are the Chuck Norris jokes? Chuck Sh- Norris clogs the toilet Chuck when he pees. pees. <laughs> <laughs> if, Ch- if Chuck Norris is running late, time better slow the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> the boogeyman checks his closet for Chuck Norris before no, he goes to bed. <laughs> I heard Chuck Norris checks his closet for Khalil Mack. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Underneath Chuck Norris' Monsters, beard is another fist. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love Something Chuck Norris. Something on fire? Yeah, the Nordic track that Chuck Norris is <laughs> slanging at 2.30 in the morning on the infomercial. Total Marshall. gym, brother. Total gym. Total gym, brother. Oh, God. That was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. Total gym, brother. Oh, God. That was a good one. That was a good one. We pussify these fucking badass motherfuckers. We get it. Yeah, Ooh. Chuck Norris. Chuck best, Norris could lick my balls. Best chest well, he's just such a fucking game. nice guy, man. That's Sorry, the, I take that back. The saddest balls, thing Chuck. about it is like he's such a badass. Then you, then you're like that motherfucker would pull over to help you change your tire if you had a flat in the rain. You well, think he, John Claude Van Damme <laughs> stopping? Fuck no. Fuck he's no. throwing a bottle of whiskey at you as he drives by. Ooh. Doing the splits. I feel like that's a very, very helpful thing. If you threw me a bottle like of whiskey while Van sitting Dan. on the side of the road, I'm getting drunk. It's Jean Claude Van Damme Fuck. like pulls over. Can you imagine Jean Claude Van Damme pulls Who? over? Jean Claude Van Damme. Jean Claude Goddamn pulls over. Let me change your tire. <laughs> <laughs> that was Schwarzenegger. <laughs> huh? That wasn't Van Damme. Oh, yeah, that Schwarzenegger was is a little bit deeper. Come on. Let me change your tire. Who's your tire? Jean-Claude Van Damme just does the splits. Just changes the tire. Wow, wow, dude. I just got covered dude, in salt. bug assault, bro. Dude. No. What is your problem? That thing's been you dead for months. You don't shoot guns in the house. Shoot it again. No, it's do not. I'm, salt, I'm literally dude. covered in salt. Good. Now the you know how assault. I feel every time you fucks use it. Give me that gun. That was the best money I've ever spent I'm gonna in shoot my whole life, that penis. bug assault. Look at how excited you guys are. You guys are like fucking kids on Christmas. The bug assault is a fucking phenomenal idea. Everyone, $40. You can't put a price tag on fun. Don't just buy the your bug assault. hand on my shoulder. You're, uh, you're a furnace. It's like on fire. My yeah, core like temperature a just went up four degrees. It's so very hot. And it's hot. I, think I it's have a lot of uh, brown fat. That's a real thing. Just to let you guys know. I feel like you're making fun of me. Brown fat? Brown Fuck fat. Fuck you guys. Apparently, if you have a lot of brown fat, you don't really get cold. You remember when we went up to the UP? Youper. What happened up there? 
You didn't get cold? It was negative 15 degrees. And I was snowboarding in a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, we're standing around in a cabin, and there's no there's there's a wood-burning uh, stove for heat. And everyone's freezing, laying on like three blankets and hoodies and jackets. Jeff's walking around in a wife beater and his boxers. <laughs> no fucking socks on. He's like, oh, it's Just fine he- in here. I'm like, dude, it says it's like six degrees. Nah, it's nice. It's fine, bro. I was on a heated blanket freezing my ass off. I was trying to kick people while I was sleeping so they would wake up and put more wood in the fire. Frankie, it's because you're coddled. Well, if you would have just left the door open. I would have been warmer. That was fucking, I was, oh my God. So, so it was buddy, a wood burning, <laughs> wood burning, I mean. <laughs> it's a stove, it's an oven. It's, it's a wood burning oven. Wood burning oven. <laughs> wood burning oven. And then he got the pipes that go up and they cover the whole house. So we filled this thing fucking up with wood. <laughs> and when the wood was burning, if you opened the door of the stove. You felt the heat. You felt the heat and you were warmer. See, what he thought is when the door is closed, it travels up and goes through the pipes and it heats the whole house. Well, guess what? We weren't in the fucking whole house. No, I'm in we front of the stove. We were in one fucking section. <laughs> yeah, why would you worry about the fucking bedroom when you're in the guy? So he's arguing room? with us. He's arguing. He's telling me, close the door. It's going to be warmer. And I'm like, fuck you. It's warmer when the door's <laughs> open. So my guess is this was drawer shitter? No, no. it wasn't. It wasn't? No, no. Don't call him that. I already told you. It was never proven in the court of law. <laughs> we still need a trial, I feel like, then. Until he's, fi- he's, we gotta he's innocent have it until he's found guilty. We got to so. have it on the podcast. No, because all the <laughs> DNA samples of that turd have been lost. <laughs> so we don't know. So, yeah, we were arguing about the door being open and it's warmer. We were, we were screaming at him, when the door's open, I'm warmer. <laughs> it actually, so we filled this, this, the, pipe going up whatever so many logs we shoved in there and then filled the whole fucking base it got so hot in there there was those long like candlestick candles that are hanging in the on the wall it was so fucking hot in there they melted and were melted over hanging over because it was 112 degrees well After, your friend is an asshole bro we left the door open to outside to cool it off we were like, oh, yeah, we were so building a jump outside, threw a bunch of wood in. Then why are you talking shit about Jeff wearing boxers in a fucking... That wasn't that in? night. No. He did it the night. night before when it was only six degrees in the fucking house. <laughs> and that's why we did that the next night. We stuffed it so it's fucking because, much. You know why, Frankie, you know what it is? Because Jeff is a man. A man, 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 man. man, man. man. <laughs> I just don't really get cold. Yeah. I don't know why. Because you know I think I have a lot of brown happens. fat. I think it's because you're always drinking alcohol. Jeff's blood Maybe. type is rough. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I have poor circulation from or all Tito's. the smoke. I remember you guys had like 16 layers, and I had a uh, Transformers Star Cream Star Scream <laughs> T-shirt. <laughs> Star Cream. Star Cream. Oh, I'm gonna shoot. <laughs> no, it's Star Scream. Keep your socks on. Transformers t-shirt on. Socks come off, Star baby. Stream, stream, stream for immersion, right? How dare you. You're just jealous because you get cold. <laughs> jealous because you get cold. You're just jealous because you get cold. No, I just... Don't you? Do you get cold? I do get cold. Yeah, you pussy. But you know what? But I'm not that hot in the summer, and, then. And what's funny, though, too, is it'll be the dead of winter, and Frankie's wearing, like, a windbreaker for a fucking winter jacket and be like, oh, I'm freezing. I'm like, yeah, well, dude, you're wearing a goddamn plastic. I don't like too many layers, and I don't like being damp. I, I don't. I like to just be basketball shorts and a V-neck. You can't, you can't, <laughs> you can't bitch about being cold, then. Yeah, I can fuck? bitch about whatever I want. No, you can. Time. It's your goddamn right. You're an American. But what I'm saying is bitch. you're going to be fucking cold because These are you're third not world dressed problems. for the fucking environment. Every time I think I'm cold, I'm just thinking of like some Eskimo who's got to walk like 16,000 <laughs> miles to shoot a bear through the throat <laughs> and then drag it back to her hut. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not really that cold. To live on its <laughs> fat for a yeah, month. I'm not, I'm not that cold. Could be colder, right? Grab it from the colder tank. Like, what do you think, bro? <laughs> Movie reference. Mm. <laughs> if only penguins could fly, I'd be their leader. 
I'm pretty sure penguins can fly. In the kingdom of the blind, yeah, the one the I water. Ma- <laughs> in the kingdom of the blind, the one eyed man is king. <laughs> exactly. In the, in the kingdom of the skunk, the man with a half a nose is king. Name that movie. Ball hair. Ah, uh, see. I guess right. Did I win? No, you didn't. See. Do you think crabs on the bottom of the ocean look up and say those fish are flying? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like, holy uh, fuck, man. You just blew my fucking mind. That's what I'm saying. Next, shit flies. Listen, man, next time you drop some shit like that on us. Knowledge. You better, the learning channel. You better give me a helmet. Well, could you imagine if so we were just sitting just here imagine. and shit was like flying in the air? You'd be like, what the fuck? fuck is going on next there? time you put you spit that kind of logic you better give me a helmet so it <laughs> make a mess <laughs> when the you ocean blow fascinates me guys. My a mess. Mind. i'm just letting you guys know the ocean fascinates me yeah me we too we know more about mars than we do about our own ocean let's explore that shit i want to get fucking deep i want to get deep we're going to go so deep next week. Penetrating my perimeter. Oh, God. Goddamn armadillas penetrating my perimeter. Woo. So let's go explore the ocean right now. The ocean right now? Let's go. I want to go explore the ocean. I say like, we explore we cheeseburger. We are like 1,500,000 like <laughs> miles away from the All right, let's go ocean. do that instead. Let's go do the cheeseburger. We're thing. in the Midwest. This is... This is our last uh, last week eating like fucking dog shit, so we're going big and going no, 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 no. We still got next after weekend. Labor Day. I'm going fucking hard this, next this, weekend. No, this is the last week, full week. Right, so we're gonna get it in. Yes, I'm gonna get fat as fuck and whoop the shit out of you two fucking clowns. No, no, clowns. no, no. I'm gonna get I'm gonna gain so much weight this next week. You just watch. Be 300 guys, pounds. I'm gonna week. tell you right now, you guys don't fucking. What's the chance. ante, bitch? Put something up. My bike for your bike. That's not a fucking te- Annie. That's the, the tetanus. <laughs> the tetanus five hundred against the Gram. Yeah, that's you're that's so confident, horrible. motherfucker. You're not gonna lose. Slip, pink slips, girl. We'll go slip for slip. Do you My have, bike, your bike. Do you have a pink slip for you? Did your it come bike? with a pink slip? Yeah, or a fucking you STD a or an STD fucking checkup. What did that thing come with? It came with a pack of. New I got all new parts start. overnighted from Japan. You have fifteen thousand dollars. This thing will decimate all. Jesus Christ. My Amazon just sucking said package shipped. It sucking said? <laughs> All right, let's fucking end this. This shit's getting out of control. <laughs> All right, boys. It's been another great week in the Gentleman's Den. Woo! We love you all. So for Frankie, for Jeff, I, as always, am Sean. Thank always. you all for listening. And may all your dreams come true as long as she weighs 300 pounds. Yeah. Clap it up.